Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So a couple of weeks ago, I bought this magic picture changer from Hobby Hoppers. It's made by Lawn Fawn, and I really want to use it in my planner next week. So if you want to see how I made this one, then just keep watching. All right, so to start off with, you're going to need a piece of cardstock. So this is from the Kmart uh, cardstock collection. That's my last piece of white. I'm really sad because I can't find it in store anymore. Um, and then you will need the Lawn Fawn Magic Picture Changer die cut set. So this is actually the extended set. It comes with this bit here, which is the, the outside kind of mounting board, if you will. Um, so I've got the extra bit as well. You can get all of this from Hobby Hoppers and I have a special deal for you at the end as well. So make sure you stay tuned. Uh, so to start off with, I'm just going to grab a pencil and using this, I'm just going to very lightly trace out my square and that's just so that I've got an idea of where I want to put my stamp. Whoops, I missed. I'm going to rub this out afterwards. I'm going to do the same thing over this side. I'm keeping these a, a fair way apart because you do need a fair amount of room for both. And then we're going to grab the stamp. So I'm going to use this one here. This is from Avery L and it's also available from Hobby Hoppers. I'm going to grab this little unicorn. So the unicorn's actually too big for the, the little area, but I'm going to kind of just squeeze it in there because I really want to use the unicorn. Uh, and then I'm grabbing my VersaFine ink, which, and I'm going to keep doing this, is also available from Hobby Hoppers, uh, but I bought mine from Spotlight, but if you want to get it from Hobby Hoppers, you can. So I'm just going to ink that up and I'm going to place it down where I want it. Oh, cute little unicorn. And then as always, I'm just going to clean this off before I'm finished with it. Now for the other side, so for the thing it's going to change into, so the unicorn's going to be what we see when it's closed. For what we're going to see when it's open, I'm just going to put this little one here. It actually just says, I believe in you. Now I'm going to use this in my planner. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that later. But for now, like you could use this for a card. You could use it for basically anything you wanted. Got a little I believe in you. I'm just going to put some some of these little stars and stuff around that as well. But that's why it's good to know where you're um, like where you're actually aiming at, so that you make sure you put it in the right spot. I love all these little stars that come with this. It's so cute. There's all my stamping done. That was very easy. I'm just going to put these away. I always get really nervous when I use little stamps and I'm going to lose them. So I always put them away straight away. Alright, so now comes the part where we get to colour this in. And this is another good time, another, another reason that it's good to put this little pencil mark around. I am going to just really quickly rub out that bad line though, because I don't want it being stuck underneath it, um, underneath the markers. So I'm grabbing my Aldi graphic markers. You can use Copix if that's what you've got. You can use Tombows if that's what you've got. But I have had a lot of people ask me if I can use these on camera, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Keep in mind, I'm still not very good at this. Just making that really clear. Um, so my unicorn is going to be pink. <laughs> And when you see next week's planner, you'll understand why my unicorn is going to be pink. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and colour this in. This particular cardboard doesn't bleed very much. It does bleed a little, but not badly. So just be aware when you're putting your colour down, don't go over the, the ink of the stamp too much. So around the eye and stuff, maybe just dot instead of sort of colour. I'm just going to add in just a little bit of a highlight. I have a feeling that colour's not going to work. That was a little bit more peach than I thought. That pink's going to look horrible. So just to add a little bit of shadow and stuff, I'm just going to use a bit of grey and just blend these in together. I have been practicing my blending, so fingers crossed it works. 
But you can see there it's just got that little shadow on it that just gives it a little bit more depth. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the unicorn off and I'll be right back. Okay, so what I've realized is I need to stamp this afterwards because I want the color to be there. So what I'm going to do is die cut the unicorn out and that way I can use the rest of the cardboard to do the other one. So what you then need to do is rub out the pencil line. That's the first bit. I'm not sure I love the colors. I'm sort of on the fence with them, but I'm getting better at the, at the alcohol marker kind of thing. So hopefully along the way I get better again okay so you're gonna stick that down and it's gonna sit slightly high or slightly more than the little thing we had there so it's a little bit bigger so I'm just aware of that as long as the parts that I know I want in here are you know there it'll be fine so you just need to grab some washi tape just to hold this down while you're cutting it through the die cutter so you're not gonna have to use this washi obviously but it's just to hold things down. My suggestion is tape more than you think you need to because the um, this particular die is slightly longer than my slightly longer than my um, cutting mechanism so you've kind of got to do it twice which is a bit annoying but anyway. So I'll just cut that off Grab my cutting machine in here and all of my little bits and pieces. So I was told on my channel that I was doing my sandwich wrong and that the metal adapter plate's supposed to go underneath all of these. So I'm just moving my sandwich around just so this doesn't really matter I guess but it's I, I like the idea of not messing up my plates. Uh, so you see here, this is what I mean, this sort of sits out the top. So you've got to cut it once through for all these bits and then you cut it again for the top. Actually, you can do the top bit first. have your first little bit of of your magic picture changer so like I said we're gonna fix the other bit up I'm gonna stamp this 
I'm going to colour it first and then stamp. So I'm going to do that really, really quick and I'll be right back. Ryan was just asking why I did that. And it's because this is what would have happened if I had a coloured over the top. See how that's got the, you're bleeding the, the ink? That was what I was trying to avoid. So I think this has actually helped do that. So then we're gonna use this bit. This is the next bit in the, in the thing. And that was why I wasn't too worried about the edges because you're not gonna see them anyway. So you put that there put it the right way that's the first thing you, you probably need to do put the cutting thing down the right way and get some tape again just to hold this in place while you put it through uh, just a hint <laughs> which I learnt last time get some of the tackiness off this one this one's not as bad because you don't need to worry about sending it through twice it only needs to go through once just cutting off the excess Oh, I love looking at that side and seeing how much that bled. That was why I put my mat down during that as well, because it was bleeding through a little much. There we have bit number two. If it'll pop out, there we go. So I'm just being gentle when I pull this out. There we go. Now that'll all get hidden. The fact that that's really messy, it'll all get hidden. So don't panic. Okay. Now let's actually put this together so you guys can see what I'm actually, why this is so cool. So the first thing you need to do is fold along all of the score lines. Now something I've noticed while playing with this is sometimes the score isn't quite enough. So just make sure you use a, a scoring tool or something similar to just really get that crease. The hardest part is this bit here. So if it hasn't quite scored enough, it can be a little hard to fold this over. So my suggestion is do it slowly and then make sure you fold it over with a scoring tool as you go and then you can sort of run it along because this is where your um, this bit actually slides in and out. So just be aware that it's a very important part. There you go. All right, the next part is a, another very important part and is a little tricky as well because you need to put your glue tape down. If you get your glue tape stuck, if you put it too far over, it is going to cause issues with the sliding mechanism. So just run it very slightly down that side and then you fold it over and stick it down. And if you can run your finger along there and not feel any glue, you're good. If you can feel a little bit of glue, just give it a bit of a rub. Grab your eraser if it's a little bit more than you'd like. Okay. So then you need to get your little extra bit. So let's see, this bit pops up here. And what you need to do is 
tuck in, this is the part I really don't like, tucking in each of these into each of those. That makes no sense, but when you've got it in your hand, it does actually make sense as to what's going on. And then you see you pull it. I'm a little worried. The tail is obviously in the wrong, it, like it looks bad at the moment because it's not finished, it's only half finished. So don't panic at this point if you look at it and you go, okay, that looks horrible. When you put the border thing on it, it'll all be fine. So you see there, it's not sitting down nicely. So pull it down and that's your little changing bit. So if you want to add just a little bit of chalk, just to help with the, the actual mechanism, this is a really good idea, something that Trish from Hobby Hoppers let me know. If you add just a little bit of chalk to this, it just helps with the sliding, just lubricates it a little bit. There we go. And then like I said, don't panic yet. I know it looks horrible, but it won't for long. So once that's in, this is the next bit that's a little bit, a little bit tricky. You need to just glue, again, just along the very, very outside. And that's because otherwise you, you get in the way of the mechanism again, which we don't want to do. And this will be the same thing. I'm going to run my finger down here first, make sure I can't feel any not in the right place. And then you're going to fold it over. And I hope like hell when you move this, it's okay. Ha ha! The last two or three times I've done this, it's actually not done that. So like I said, it doesn't look right now because you've got the tail hanging out the side and you've got this, but when you put this next bit on, it is going to look fine. So this next bit is this bit here, which is the extra part. I'm actually gonna use a little bit of Kazercraft paper for this. And the other thing I'm gonna to do too, is I'm gonna grab this little one here that says pull. This is another part of the add-on and that will stick on the top here. So I'm gonna grab, I want this bit of paper this bit of paper here and I'm going to add something to it in a sec too so it'll it'll end up looking heaps cooler. So I'm going to put that right in the corner. I'm actually going to use a bit of tape I've already used because it's lost some of its tack. Yeah, because my 6x6 six six won't run through my trimmer I'm just my sorry my DIY cuts I'm just going to trim this off. And then we'll run that through. I actually love this particular die just for making little borders in general. Oh, whoops, I forgot about my pull. When you fold that over, I'll do that in a sec. And then you've got this bit here. And oh my God, does that just look not the cutest thing in the whole world with this cute little stitching around the outside. So then, this is what I mean, dog hair. You won't be able to see that bit on the outside once this is going along because it now covers that up. You can see a little bit, but that's okay. I'm not worried. Eh, can't be perfect all the time. Now the only other thing I'm gonna do to this before I stick it all together. If you saw my video on Monday, you'll know I've been playing with this iCraft Deco foil pen. And because the next week in my planner is going to be my pink week, I just want to add a little bit of gold to some of these. So this, these are actually supposed to be rose gold if you get the whole big thing. But I'm just going to make it gold, normal gold. So I'm just putting a little bit of this adhesive over the top of some of the dots, not all of the dots, but I will admit there's probably more dots than I was planning on doing. And I'm just grabbing a little bit of gold foil. This is just um, Heidi Swat one. I'm just gonna stick this down, give it a rub, and if it'll pick up and pull it off. Now, that's not gonna add great dots. I'm not trying to make it add great dots. I'm just getting it to add a little bit of foil to this, just to give it a bit of glimmer. I'm just 
adding a couple more in the middle because I missed them. There we go. Just a little bit of something. And if you sort of feel like you've missed a spot or two. Not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but I think it looks really cool. Okay, so I'm going to push this all the way down. I'm going to put that on there. So then all we have to do, whoops, I did that round the wrong way, but that's okay. The way you can tell that is that there's a little notch at the top, which is where the, the pull sits. So I'm going to cover that in glue. Now just be very careful because this pit here is also your moving mechanism. So if you put too much glue on the sides, it's actually going to cause a problem. So for that reason, I tend to just put glue on the bottom and the top. This is the hard part because I'm always worried about it not being straight and then I have to replace it, which is a pain. Oh my God, I'm so proud right now. That actually worked. And then this bit here, the little pull, so we just fold that over. It's got a score line there. You can use your, if you don't drop it, use a little scoring tool just to give it a nice crisp push. Now I'm gonna just, because I can, just want a bit of color behind that. It's not supposed to be perfect here, so I'm not worried about the fact that that didn't work as well as I wanted it to. Can always add a little bit more. There we go, that's what I wanted. It's a whole new world of adding foil right now. I love it. And I'm just gonna stick that down and just be gentle going over the side with the pull. And it is going to have a bit of a bit of glue sticking through. I'm going to put it this side first because that way I'm going to add just a teensy bit more foil. There we go. And there's our little magic picture changer with the little pull and all the gold foil bits. Oh, I love that. So like I said, you can use this then in lots of different ways. You can use it and it's not pulling now. There we go. Don't put your finger on the bottom. Um, you can use it in, you could use it for a card, you could use it in your planner, you could use it on a dashboard, so many different ways you can use this, but I will be using it in my planner next week, a little bit like I did with my movable one last week, it didn't mean for this to happen, but it kind of has. Uh, so if you want to see how I use this in my planner, make sure you check out Sunday's decoration. Um, my little big, well, little big, that doesn't make any sense, my little surprise for you guys is that I have organised with Trish from Hobby Hoppers that you guys always get 5% off at Hobby Hoppers. So if you like the stamps, if you like the die cut and you want to give it a shot, head over to Hobby Hoppers, check them out and use Plum Mashable 5 in the, in the discount box and you'll get that 5% off anything in the store all the time. This isn't a week long thing or a month long thing, this is just a permanent discount. So if you want to go and check them out, I highly recommend Trish, she's so fantastic. And if there is something that you see from Lawn Fawn or Avery L, that you have seen that you can't get in her store, just let her know um, and she'll do her best to get it for you. So go and check her out. So that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to come back and check out how I use this in my planner this week. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that or anything else. Follow me over on socials as well for all my other little bits and pieces. Hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic, fantastic weekend and I will see you in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. Bye.